WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here with the TFNN 9 o'clock market update. And we're looking at the Dow futures up three at 40,141. It has already made that missing leg deep. We've been waiting for that at, in Chapway methodology. That fourth highest peak is where other things can happen. That's all it says. Just be ready that there could be a change of trend in the Dow cash. You're looking at the same sort of thing, except that you haven't gone to D yet. 40,052 will be the start of a leg D. In the weekly chart, still everything's very positive. Got the cup formation, leg D in the monthly chart. S&P uh, futures, the ES mini trading right now up 2.50 at 53.30. Uh, now, these have not gone to a leg D yet, so we're watching that. If you're looking at the cash index, the cash index, and this is fascinating, cash index has already made a peak E at 53.25.49. That was on Thursday, and it's a leg D in the weekly chart, and it's a leg E in the monthly chart. You've already achieved that. That's, that is really something to monitor. Here we go to the QQQ. This is the NDX 100. Um, Futures uh, trading at uh, 18,647. Uh, it was last Thursday that it went to a recovery high. But the recovery high did make a new leg in the in the weekly chart and a leg D in the monthly chart. The QQQ, which is really the trading vehicle on the ETF, is uh, needs to get to 454.69 to make a leg F. But right now, it's really achieved a peak E. So we're watching this very closely. Hey, let's go to gold. Gold had a big move up. Uh, it's now only up one at 24, 18.8. It's in a leg C. I think that um, gold is holding very well. Actually, it's silver that's doing way better. Silver's still holding nicely up 21 cents at 31.48. I think it's, a, a, in this case, it's a superior looking chart. We'll see if gold now plays catch up. High grade copper is pulling back a little bit. It's down 0.02. Oh, look at red candles. It doesn't look like it wants red candles at 5.03. It's done fabulously. Um, so not quite a yep it made a recovery high um, a multi oh it's a multi-year high uh, just recently and we're looking at um, uh, the bonds and keep your eye on bonds because bonds I think that's the tell bonds are down almost a half a point that means yields could be going up so have a great rest of the day stay tuned for uh, the uh, Tom, Tommy O'Brien show the t morning market kickoff and great programming here at TFNM check out my opening call my daily newsletter Thanks for being here. Have a great day.